great. Go ahead. Uh, when, you, when you talk about your development of being the guy that's able to play more positions, how important was your senior season? Maybe it's not ending the way you wanted it to from a team perspective, yeah. but how important was it for you to come back and kind of develop that aspect of your game? Yeah, so like coming positions? coming back for me, uh, like last year I just I just played three technique on third down, then coming back, uh, I got stronger. I, Earn a lot more, and uh, then I got through in the three technique on first and second down full time, and I really feel like that helped my game a lot too because I got to understand the defense from a way different perspective. So now when we doing different blitzes and talk up to the three technique, now I'm at end, I kind of understand what's going on. So if I know what my three technique doing, it's easy to understand my job a little bit more. Jalen, this is an obvious question. Great quarterbacks are, are great because they're great. Mm -hmm. They're good against everybody. Mm -hmm. You guys have played Baker Mayfield twice. You played Deshaun Watson last year. Now you're playing Darnold. What do you need to do? Well, you know, like some of those guys have had pretty good games against you. You know, last year you guys dealt with Mayfield pretty yeah. well. But what do you need to do against a great quarterback to play you the way you want to play? Uh, I mean, I just feel like you can't be a great quarterback if you on your back all the time. So you got to get to him early and often. A guy like him who can make who could really make all the throws. And uh, I feel like you get the pressure on him and you get to ride him a little bit, he won't be able to make them great, them great throws he, he's able to make. So, like, you know, you watch, like, Tom Brady, for example, when Tom Brady gets hit constantly, that's when he doesn't play sometimes. It's how you know people. Is there anybody, we always ask the veteran guys, any young guys in bolt practice who've popped a little bit? Anybody you've noticed who maybe uh, take that next step? I just said, who was it? I said Jeff, Jeff Okuda. Chase Young, Jonathan Cooper, even though he's kind of, he's new. Uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, who was Jeff Okuda, Chase, Jonathan Cooper, there. Yeah, that's it. There, 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 and Josh Allaby. Them two guys, uh, they got a bright future ahead of them. What do you make of the quarterback quandary that Ohio State will have in the spring with uh, Dwayne Haskins Jr., Joe Burrow, and Tate Martell? What's going to you know, you're going to be gone. So what do you, what's your take on that? Whoever wins, I just hope they are competitive. Like, I just feel like the, the, the true competitor is going to win that battle. Uh, if you don't know how to compete, I don't think the person, the person, the less competitive, not going to win. Uh, so, I don't know. I'm, I'm going to be waiting just like you. <laughs> so I, I thought about it. I was like, dang, who's going to be the quarterback? But uh, it's just going to really see who can, who can really compete. Those guys are three kind of different dudes. You yeah, know they, they all mean? different. They all bring something different to the table. But at the end of the day, you know, like you look at JT, and one thing that made JT so great is he was a competitor. You know, he wins when the game's on the line. That's somebody you want to be as your quarterback. So they got to kind of pick up them saying traits and then add on to their, their own little flavor to it as well. So. Does Dwayne have a head start then? I mean, you guys are trailing. Michigan, uh, he goes in. Uh, I don't know. You know what I'm saying? I don't know. Yeah. I can't. <laughs> I don't know nothing about that. <laughs> I just know that whoever going whoever gonna to compete and be a competitor more consistent than the other going to win.